Hello YouTube. This is Reef to Home. Showing off my uh, tank completed. You see I got a bunch of different corals. They're all looking pretty good. A uh, nice deep sand bed. I've got at least four inches or so. Um, 425 pumps controlled with a uh, pump controller. I retrofitted a Y valve to disperse the uh, return. Just having the single one on there was just putting too much water flow to the glass and it was stirring up the, the sand bed a bit. Since I upgraded the return pump to a MaxiJet 1200 I painted this thing. I did a wet sand and five coats of, of primer, five coats of gloss white, and seven coats of clear coat. I retrofitted a aqua illumination sole into the top of the hood and inside I have a few mods you can see the pump the controller for the lights and in chamber one, I have my heater, the intake media basket with floss, Kemi Pure Elite, and a Zune 902 protein skimmer with the uh, the mod and the last chamber just the maxi jet pretty clear back there this AI sole is fantastic so much better than the old one having those compacts this hood was getting super hot it was noisy with the fans um, this thing is actually cold to the touch um, keeping my tank so much more stable on temperature. I no longer have any fluctuations. It basically stays right at, let's see if it focuses, right at about 79 to 80, which is right where I want it to be. Um, a little on the warm side, but trying to get my clowns to, to breed. So, bunch of sweet mods. This tank's been running for about four and a half months going on five uh, all the corals have grown quite a bit um, had this light for about a week and a half now and it's just about finished with the coral acclimation cycle and all the corals seem to be loving it um, they've, they've opened up much larger than before I was uh, way under on the lighting with the PCs. Yeah, I was pretty much at, uh, I'd say, one, and a, one to two watts a gallon. And that's not sufficient for, uh, for all the corals, especially not the clams and the two anemones that I have. So now that they're there, everything's opened up. This galaxy has shot off a ton of new heads. The clam's much happier. Lobo's doubled in size. Looks like it's almost ready to shoot off another, another one. Coming around the side. New location for the mushrooms over in this corner and they've totally opened up all the way. It's really nice to see. You can almost not even tell where one ends and another one begins they're really happy 
cleaning ship's doing good. I got a bubble tip over the corner. He's kind of just uh, moving around in the tank. He's happy. My clowns like it. They've been hosting in it. So, as you can see, I don't really have very much live rock touching the sand. So I could get good water flow throughout the whole thing, trying to increase that biofilter. Here's Doc coming out. Name the cleaner shrimp Doc. I do have some uh, some interesting worms. They're not brittle worms or bristle worms. They're uh, they're black and white, really long, but very skinny. Can't seem to get rid of them. They don't really harm the corals too much. It was uh, making the green gonoporia over here kind of angry at one point. Um, he closed up. I pulled him off and he opened back up at the end of the day. So, as you can see, I got a lot of snails. My cleanup crew is pretty solid. It's later on in the day, so they're sort of coming out. And. The lighting effect's pretty nice. It ripples water, kind of gives a nice little shimmer off off everything, and I got a really good flow going around on the tank. And these palm tree zinnias, when I first got them, they're on discount. Actually, this whole thing it was it was a pretty sweet price, but they actually didn't have the the green on the inside, as you can see here. Um, really starting to pop. They're all coming back. It it was basically all just brown, and I brought them back to life. You can see those zooxanthellae totally filling back in. Every single one of these is has got a nice bright green center with like yellow bands. They're very happy where they're at. They're finally getting the right amount of sun. And and they're they've actually shot off a few more heads as well. So this little update, full on mod for BioCube 29. Let me know what you think. It's been a work in progress, and I'm pretty much set. And we're just gonna let this guy run its course, and um, might add a couple couple extra critters. So. Leave some comments below if you like it.